Hello, hello there everybody, and welcome to a brand new day and a brand new episode here in Grounded. Uh, this is going to be a episode that I have been waiting so long for. Uh, we can finally, I feel like, make some, like, real progression today. Uh, not that we haven't been making some real progression, uh, but now we've got our tier to axe, our tier 2 hammer, and that is just going to make life so much easier for us. Um, to start things off, uh, we need to get some of our last stems. We've got a few roof pieces to finish off, uh, both on the front and back kind of awnings of our house, uh, and then we also need a few more stems to get our cookery and grinder up and running, um, and we no longer have to just look or dandelions to get that done. So we're gonna go chop down our first weeds this morning. Uh, so we're gonna go knock that out right away, I think. Uh, we'll Yum. eat up some gnat roast. I think I might have one here in my inventory that we should probably eat before it spoils. Um, and uh, that is pretty exciting. I think we should uh, grab our canteen as well. And we might try to get all of our water filled up. Uh, but let's... Wait, did I hear a spider? Nope, I'm just going crazy. Uh, let's bring this uh, pallet down. Hope that those wolf spiders in there don't wake up. And chop down this big old husky wheat. I guess this is really the big husky weed, but oh, this is so much nicer that we can just chop these guys down. I am so happy. Oh, arrow, spear. Okay, we've just got some random equipment lying around here. Um, all right. Oh yeah, I can only hold. Uh, don't got any spiders. Uh, I can only hold five of these right now because I don't have my armor on at the moment. That's fine, though. Because we did bring our pallet down, so we can use that to be uh, carrying a good amount of these back up. Alright. Let's finish off... Ugh. The, uh, the house here real quick. Alright. Oh, don't fall off. Okay. Whew. Thought our jerky rack almost pushed us off the edge there. Alright. The, the house is now done. Uh, we just need flower petals for that. And we have enough for the cookery. Looks like we're going to be just shy. All right, we need two more stems. That is very doable. I suppose I should close the doors. So we need two stems, two flower petals. That is not bad. Um, I'm just going to leave our pallet right down there. Yeah, I'll go harvest this other stem while we look for water. May as well. We can maybe, yeah, we'll drop that right there. We'll go find some water and then come back and harvest those stems. Uh, another new thing that we can chop is actually harvesting these larger mushrooms. Um, I'm going to start going ahead and doing that, I think. Yeah! Uh, this will be a new resource for us to analyze. And uh, that is going to be good to stock up on. Uh, water, though. I see some. I can stop getting stuck on the grass. There we go. I forget which slot my canteen's in. Just bonk that. My 
nice and clean. All right, there's one sip of water. Um, you know what? We'll fill our canteen up later. I know that that's not necessarily smart of me, but we've got things to do. We've got weeds to chop. Okay, make sure we clean up that. Oh. And I feel like even chopping these weeds takes less effort than it took to chop the dandelions, and we can often get more stem from it as well. It's just so much better. Good morning, ladybug. I am half tempted to go ahead and fight that ladybug. Just because eventually we're going to need more ladybug heads. And uh, <laughs> after last episode and all that we went through to get the one ladybug head just to get this darn axe that I'm holding right now. Uh, that was quite the chore. And rather than having to go through, like, you know, a whole episode just to do that again, I feel like maybe doing it when we just have the opportunity uh, might be smart. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But for now, I want to gather a few additional resources. Uh, we still need to grab the fat the blah, the flower petals uh, for our grinder, uh, but we can also chop the brown mushrooms while we're gathering some other new resources with our axe. So that was all the chunks we got there. That's fine. So I got two more to chop, and then that'll give us some new things to go analyze here in just a second. Here we go. Nope, no spider. See, now two ladybugs over here. I, that's what I was saying last time. Like, as soon as we get what we need, we're just gonna be finding ladybugs constantly. I'm just kind of gathering some other materials while we're out and about, so I might as well chop these other mushrooms. It's good to kind of stock up on new resources. Are you going to pop? There we go. Uh, it's good to stock up on some of these new resources. Now that we've got the chance, oh, that weevil made weird noises that scared me. Or maybe I was hearing the ant attacking another weevil back here. I don't know. Something spooked me. But, yeah, just trying to kind of grab, like, little mushrooms, get some sap, if I see any, like, honeydew. Uh, we've been low on sap in general, so that's why that's important. Um, getting anything for, like, smoothie recipes. Um, there actually is a good chunk of sap right here. I might take advantage of that. Break in our new hammer. Oh, if I don't <laughs> cancel it out. Oh, yeah. Alright, so these flowers are what we're looking for. Oh, but we fell. Mosquitoes are making me nervous. But yeah, you can attack these flowers and get more petals. Some of the petals will oh, naturally fall, uh, and I can shoot more off 
but I'm a little bit wary of those mosquitoes, so I think I'm going to come over to this plant instead. Just give myself a little more buffer room. Uh, I... Oh, all the orb weavers over here making me nervous, too. I don't know why I'm so skittish today. Um, I think that these tulips you might be able to shoot petals off of as well. Um, but definitely the hosta plants you can shoot or bash or punch petals off of. Um, it looks like each flower gives you um, three petals. And uh, we'll try to collect our arrows later. But since we're over here, again, we're just going to kind of stock up on some of these flower petals. Luckily, these plants are pretty easy to climb. It's kind of the same situation as the uh, uh, thistle plant. Alright, spider, you're not getting up here, so may as well move on. Okay, you might be able to get up here, though. I'm trapped! We might have to take this guy down. Well, if he's gonna go away, I won't bother him anymore, but I... I am not... Oh, oh! Not too afraid of orb weavers anymore. Let's go! Oh, stunt! Especially juniors. Uh oh, uh oh, Mama's mad. Understandably. Yeah. Yeah. All right, stamina back. Yeah, get those blocks! Oh, you're backing off too much for me here, spider. Come to me. Alright, not a perfect block that time, that's okay. Oh, maybe it was a perfect block. I got the perfect block achievement. Let's go! Ten perfect blocks in a row. All right, well, we got some spider chunks. Uh, oh gosh, the orb weavers want me gone. That is a little bit terrifying. They might come and uh, attack me soon. <laughs> so let's try to give the orb weavers some space. My concern about that is that I was kind of hoping to go over to the hedge again soon and grab some more berry chunks. Uh, that in itself is not a problem, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of orb weavers over there, um, and it would be hard to make it through there without attacking too many, although I also am not sure if getting the orb weavers want you gone message is the point of no return and that it's already inevitable that they are going to attack me. All right, let's get our last... Can I, can I stand up here? There we go. Last machine up, and the grinder is built. Uh, one other thing I would like to make is some mushroom slurry. Uh, oh, and some plant slurry, I guess. Because neither of those... Uh, I believe uh, we have yet. All right, so now that we have all of this stuff, um, we can go ahead and dump our inventory just a bit, and then we might head down to uh, the Oak Lab briefly 
and uh, analyze some of these new materials. Excellent. Um, all right. Let's go make a quick trip down to the Oak Lab, and then uh, we can kind of start our next little bit of a project that I wanted to do today. Because uh, we actually can start that a little bit here in the lab. Alright, so let's analyze these mushrooms. Oh wow, these actually... Oh wait, I thought that just said 30 brain power. Uh, oh, uh, we got the... Our bombs discovered. And just two new mushroom slurry recipes. Those will come in handy once we eventually are going to be making some uh, mushroom walls and stuff. Um, Alright, so our next project that I was alluding to is we want to be able to start leveling up our uh, Mr. Pete. We want to get some more... Wait, missed this tape. Uh, we'll grab that in a second. Um, we want to level up Pete. And, uh, it's really hard to see down here, and I don't have a torch on me. But we've got a mega milk molar right here. And so, we're gonna start collecting milk molars today, now that we've got our tier 2 hammer. And, uh, there we go. So, we can start... Uh, busting up these milk molars, and using them for some character upgrades. Uh, but in the meantime, let's listen to this. This morning, I installed the borrowed lab modules. Another one of my forgotten inventions from the early days. I had such grand notions back then. The Kinder Science Mini Quick Little Chemist Lab Educational Toy for Children. But no, Wendell, we can't possibly put hydrochloric acid into the hands of children. The lawyers will never agree. <laughs> it's a good thing I never told them about the Bunsen burners. Odd that Arminant has been using my toy pieces in this way. Hmm. I digress. The lab network is now up and running in the backyard. I'm planning to dedicate each one of them to a different function. Main power will run through here, the Oak Lab, as the center of operations for the backyard. The second lab is nestled into the hedge. Such wonderful views from up there. Side note, I'm worried that Ominent's shoddy manufacturing of the lab pieces will cause them to fall apart over time, but they will do for now. All right, there we go. So that's a little bit more about the um, the lab modules. We heard about that. Actually, so he was kind of talking about them going up to the uh, installing them in the hedge, um, and we heard about him talking about the Kinder Science lab modules not holding up so well in the hedge. Uh, in a previous recording. Um, I guess we were supposed to find that one first. Whoops. But um, there we go. That's a little more background that he actually uh, invented these lab modules himself. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Um, Alright, so, milk molars. Uh, it looks like we actually can already do an upgrade. We only need really one of these right mega now. milk molars. Uh, and we can choose between arrow, resource, or consumable stack size. Um... I think that the most helpful at the moment is just going to be max resource, uh, so let's go ahead and get yoked, as it says, uh, and there we go. So now in our inventory, uh, and I believe that carries over to storage chests as well, um, we can uh, stack stuff up uh, a lot, a lot more uh, from 10... Okay, I hear Wolfie crawling around. Um, uh, from, was that 10 to 15, 10 items up to 15 items now? Uh, that is uh, a pretty substantial upgrade, uh, which will be quite nice. Um, I believe that there is actually another molar that we can get to. Uh, but we just need a torch. Uh... Let's actually just craft a new torch. We might still take that one with us, um, but uh, we'll take 
a spare in case that burns out. Uh, okay, and then we've researched these other things. And yeah, so as I just hot deposited that, that mushroom chunk is up to 15. So I can actually kind of combine some of these stacks a little bit more densely. Uh, the nice thing in your like regular player inventory is that there's like a, um, a defrag button. And it would let me um, uh, do all this with like a push of a button. I don't think... Uh, yeah, there's not like a, a quick way to defrag a chest. Um, you do, I believe, just have to do it manually. But now we can just kind of come through here and uh, condense all of these stacks uh, quite a bit more. And our, our chests will take up considerably less space um, for our resources, and so that's that's quite a nice thing. I might come back and, and kind of go through the rest of that later, but just to, sh to show you a couple as an example, um, it's really nice how all that works. Oh, and I should put my one pebble away. I don't need that. Uh, all right, we got a couple spears, a little bit of uh, bow and arrow, weapons, tools, torches, all that looks pretty good. Um, if we take a bite to eat, Just pretend it's beef jerky, and then grab another sip of water because we are getting thirsty once again. Uh, then I think that we should be good to um, head down to where I was thinking uh, further in the hey, lab. Finn. Ah. We've got... Oh, I should get my torch out. We're gonna assign this down here. Fiat Luke's. There we go. If we crouch down... Oops, that's the wrong key. We can get our regular milk molar, and then this has a different set of upgrades. So that previous one was just about, like, stack sizes, because um, it was a mega milk molar. Uh, but just a standard milk molar will be used for... Um, slightly different types of upgrades. It'll burgle. Alright, so we're gonna head in here. And I think that there are some... Oh, there's another tape that I missed. Brutal transcription unit, 87.9.5. Order number one. Robot, I need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. Hello, my name is Gurgle, and I will be serving you today. I specialize in cooking, flipping, and g, -g grilling Grilling? A feature useful only to your obsolete burger-flipping brethren now consigned to the scrap heap? I need you to monitor these readings, Burgle. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and grilling? Understood. Appending monitor power fluctuations to my prime directive list. Deprioritizing grilling. Good. Now get on with it. Reprioritizing grilling. Okay, so that ant's not happy. I need to see if he's gonna jump up here or not. But here's the milk molar I was thinking about. Here we go. Oh, it's just water. I was going to say, there's something shiny here. Okay, we can get some slime mold stocks. And there is a tunnel down here. We are not going to go down there right now, because we do not have good Science. underwater equipment. Uh, but that is something that we are going to try to obtain sometime soon. Uh, well, so we'll just come out the way that we came, but that's now two regular milk molars obtained. Uh, so let's head out, let's go ahead and sleep, and then maybe... Uh, oh yeah, that's, that's where we're going. Getting myself confused for a second. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll sleep, and then maybe head to the hedge. 
in the morning. And I know that we left a few milk molars at the hedge. Okay. Let's get our handy dandy axe out. And look for berries. This one looks pretty accessible. may have to kind of go up, knock some stuff down, and then come back through. There's also some lab pieces on the ground that we never explored. Um, ooh, some of this looks... whackable. I'm gonna try not to lose too many arrows, so we'll come back for that guy. But we can... Oh, it's gonna fall. Alright, we got spiraling music, so... There's one somewhere around here. Or two! I don't know where the other one went. We're just gonna carry on. Come on over, Spiderling. Oh, it's so much easier to kill them, actually, just with this axe. We're gonna- we're gonna go for some web sacks. What do we get? Stink bug bits? Okay. Just in case we can get ladybug heads. Mm. Nothing good. And there were a lot of spider links in that one. web bits in there. guys there's sometimes a bit of a pain. Alright, finally actually get to pick up another berry. Um, Alright, I'm gonna wait for my health to regen for just a second. Uh, oh, we might actually be able to get a berry while we do that. This one is worth knocking down. Have it. There we go.
hunger is gonna be an issue here. Anything good, just nap buzz. Still more nap fuzz. All right, this doesn't seem well. All right, we're gonna do two more. I see a ladybug head! Huh. Alright, this was all worth it. For that right there. Okay! Uh, okay, which way are we going? I think it's this way. Let's heal a bit, though. Did I bring any food? I was not that smart. Okay, that's all right. Aha, okay. I believe that... Enough with the spiderlings already. Tiny Pete needs food um, oh no, we're gonna die. This is wonderful. All right, we're gonna, we have to speed run getting these milk molars. Here's one. All right, that was one of them. The other one was down much lower. Uh, it was by one of the zip lines. Uh, I think it was this way. It was over here. Yeah, I see it. I see it. I see it. We're at least going to get the milk molars. I'm flying! Okay, we got that. Okay, are there any mushrooms? I need some baby mushrooms. Any baby mushrooms? Please, baby mushrooms. Oh, we can make it. We can make it. Oh, oh yes. Worse than my mom's okay, that was a close one. Oh, these are the best mushrooms we've ever eaten. All right. Uh, so we're going to go back up there real quick. If I cannot get stuck on all the clover. 
uh, because I believe uh, we still have a couple of things on the ground that we want to explore. Let's see what we can get out of these uh, Fallen Lab sections real quick. Um, it looks like we've at least got raw science, and I think that there might be, uh, at the very least, some lore. Maybe some other goodies in here. I don't remember if there might even be more molars or not. Uh, there's lots of orb weavers, though, so we're going to have to be careful. Climb the tree, climb in the tree. Virgil, did you organize my research notes on the material properties of the hedge berries as I directed? Of course. Well, no. Good. Wait. Explain. I have logged 110,437 different algorithms for organization and compiled them into an alphabetical list. That menu is being printed now and should be ready for review in approximately 12 weeks. <laughs> After that is complete, I will be able to organize your research notes based on the algorithm you select. Well, let me know when it's done then. Silly Burgle. Alright, next section is down here. It sounds like there's a lot of juniors down there. Yeah. So this could get fun. Uh, let's get some healing going. Gosh, all of our stuff is getting really... Uh, what are... <clears throat> what are the, uh... What are juniors weak to? It's a wolfy. Larva. Stink bug. Orb weaver. Juniors! Uh, they're... Okay. Well, that doesn't really help us. Oh, get a milk molar. Get a milk molar. Let's go. No. And we run. And we run. I think that's all the lab up here. He'll follow me up the rock, but I don't think he'll follow me down below. Ooh, we got a mixer. It's getting dark. I have to pull the torch out. So, there's the secret room over here. Have we been in here yet? We have not. Welcome to the ant cult. We can get our rotten ant club. Some rocks. This Thanksgiving I spend with my new friends. They truly understand me. I can see it in their eyes. They don't make me carry things, or take notes, or yell at me, or talk down to me. We carry our own weight. We make a feast together, me and the ants. We get along just fine. If I never see the rest of those other jerks again, it'll be too soon. Except maybe the military guy. He can join us. Like a soldier ant. Get it? Now to find a wishbone. A little concerned as to what he wants the wishbone for. I think maybe for whatever creation he's doing with this, but that's My mom always says I light up a, a little room. disturbing. So yeah, that's fun. Our next lab chunk is over here. Now let's review the progress of the last couple months. I am getting ever closer to perfecting the spacer. 
Raw science containment has been a success. At last measurement, we are within 0.2% translation accuracy, but those final infinitesimal bits have proven the most difficult. Despite that, Burgle and I have been able to transit the miniature world without incident. I must admit it has been a bit overwhelming of late. Between school, grading papers, nightly work in the yard, and this sweltering summer heat, I feel stretched thin. Some nights I find myself too exhausted to work on my experiments. All this is going to give me gray hairs. I mean, why just the other day, Trudy said that the stress is putting new wrinkles on my face. She may have a point about the hair, though. As much as I'm loath to admit it, it does seem to be thinning. Perhaps it's time to dig out the skeddy clamp and try it on myself. I'm sure it's in a bin or a box somewhere. somewhere. Ooh, a scabby with the soda. I was gonna say, I just needed the water, but I'll take a scabby. Um, still an angry spider? No heat. Uh, is there anything else in the back corner? Uh, there's a stone. <laughs> Gotta get that quartzite. else back here? That's just the battery we already saw, okay. Oh, I see a molar! Okay, Tiny Pete, you can do it. So dark in the hedge, man. And this torch, like, it's... It gives you light, but no... Oh. Oh. That's, uh... Handy. Uh, it gives you light, but, like, not very much. Or, like, not very big radius of light. Like, I can see, but about three feet in front of me. There's a spider in front of me. I'm not gonna know it until it's eating my face. Okay, I know where we are now. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, let's check on our status here real quick. Um, oh man, we've been doing really well with milk molars. Okay. We have five. Um, healing versus health. Hunger, thirst, strain, and then max mutations. Hmm. That's tough. Uh, let's see what mutations we have right now before I make any decisions. Um, so we have Javelin Ear, Harry Master, Ant Annihilator, Natural Explorer, Hyper Stamina, I would, I would like to be able to put this on just for, like, quality of life. Oh, that hurts my exhaustion recovery. I didn't know that. I think, then, 
for now, because I don't have that many mutations. I think we're going to increase our health, increase our stamina, increase our healing, and then maybe next time, once we get one more, because we have two, we'll increase our mutations. As far as our Mega Milk Molars, we can... Let's go ahead and increase our consumables. Just because that will... That's a substantial change from 5 to 10. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. And then we really should try to make it home even though it is dark. And the wolf spiders be prowling. And I don't suppose there's like a feather anywhere around here. That's about the last resource I would love to be able to grab today. Does not seem like I'm in luck. Alright. You know what? Thanks for the light, Mr. Firefly. This is way too dense of an area. Mistakes have been made. Take that firefly. Wait, where am I? Oh, I did get my other spear. Okay. Where did your friend go? It should be easy to find the Yeah, there we go. Alright, there we go. We at least got some satisfying action there at the end. It's like, if we're, if we're gonna be playing in the dark, we may as well engage with the bugs of the night. Hey there, glowy eyes. Oh, oh! That's a lot of larva! Oh, that's even more! Oh, gosh! I just ran right through their little camp there. Am I just picking the worst route home possible? Well, if that's a wolf spider, then yes. Hey, I think that we have made it. Okay. All righty. That was quite the adventure. Uh, if we sleep now, eh, that's still worth it. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Um, 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 repair. Repair. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. That should keep me safe. Repair. Safe fur. 
Uh, sure. Um, 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 weapons, arrows. Oh, are they here? Oh, yep, they are. Yep, bring it, buddy. torch out. I need my shield out. Okay, okay, okay. Two. Where did the rest of the spiders go? Yeah, that's right. That's right. You can't handle attacking me. Okay, maybe you can. A little bit. Take that. Okay. That was a terrifying way to wake up. Oh. oh, they did spray spider webs all over. Uh, where's my axe? Do 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 do. Uh, axe, axe, axe. There it is. Okay. All right. Um, let's. Uh, do I have any meat? Uh, no, I don't. Well, let's go research this stuff real quick. Uh, maybe grab a, a, an aphid or a weevil or something. Cook that up. See if we can. Uh, throw some of our... Oh, I should have thrown some of the berry stuff on uh, the jerky rack before we slept. But that's okay. But then, hopefully, basically next time we'll be able to uh, get um, uh, get ladybug armor going. Alright, there's some more things analyzed. Feels good to keep just making progress. Taking a look. Well, I would go hunt, but Wolfie is throwing a fit down there, so. Uh, oh, we we prepared for this problem. Oh. Hmm. Worse than my mom's Brussels sprouts. All right. Um. Uh, oh, I did not mean to make a gas arrow, but that's okay. Uh, we'll get those hanging. Um, and armor. Can we, so, yeah, we'll be able to get that soon. Uh, so that'll take two out of eleven. That'll take, that brings us up to seven out of eleven. And eleven out of eleven. So we have just enough ladybug parts right now. 
Uh, how much berry leather? So that was four... Eight... Um... Eleven. As well. And we have currently one... Two, three, four... Uh, perfect. So we have we have more than enough berry stuff. So cool. We'll be able to get the ladybug armor uh, next time as well. Um, yeah. uh, we have our slurries um, that, and I'll have one that I'll need to research. Um, so that is good news. Um, very cool. Well. I think that for today, that's probably going to do it. Uh, ultimately, uh, getting all of those milk molars tracked down, getting a little bit more uh, hunting done with those fireflies at the end was kind of a bonus. Um, and just kind of finishing off a couple things here at the base. Uh, finally, officially finishing off the roof lines. Uh, that kind of stuff is good. Um, so I think next time, uh, being able to get the um uh get the upgraded armor uh that'll be nice and then we might start finally turning our eyes to the pond uh that has been um definitely on our to-do list with uh increasing importance um and i think that it might be it might be about time that we uh, finally dive on in. So, uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, definitely be sure to leave a like, uh, leave a comment. Uh, be sure to let me know what you're liking about the series. Uh, I would love also any feedback as I'm still, of course, getting used to this whole YouTube thing. If there's anything that you would like to see me uh, change up for future episodes here on the series. Uh, be sure to subscribe so you can find the next one, and I will see you soon with some more Grounded.